Hello everybody, Vigo Shadow here, and today we're going to be talking about the new unit that just dropped for the month of the anniversary. Maybe I don't think it's the anniversary banner itself, but this one is still a new unit nonetheless. This one's from the regular character pool. It's Yukime, Snow White Spirit Fox. Alright, so for the first part of the video here, I will show you the stats like I normally do. So this is the base stats upon getting her. So I'll go down to from power all the way down to healing boost. And then you can see where her position's at. And then she only has one grouping. Alright, now let's go over the fun part of the video. Going over her abilities. For the ultimate, let's just check that out here. Bell, so it's called Bell Chime Dance. What it does is it inflicts 1,600% damage on a single enemy, which is a standard ultimate, but the kicker on this one is it further seals for 15 seconds, which is great. Great to use for bosses and events, especially if you can land that off before they decide to use their ultimate. When it's awakened, it goes to 2,000 damage on a single enemy, which is even better. <coughs> Wait, uh, save, same amount of seal, though. Now let's go to her second ability, which is Ethernal Dance, and what that does is it reduces damage for all allies by 50% for 5 seconds. It's only 5 seconds, but this is still um, an attacking unit that has the ability to reduce damage for, for all allies by 50%. Now if you play that with um, like Overheal or Beatrix or a, a good tank that's able to reduce damage even further, now that's really good. Then you could really beef up that party which in turn will be very good for questing and probably events as well. And then on top of that, it further raises the attack by 10% for 10 seconds if it is a blue elemental, but making it very strong for blue teams. Now when it's awakened, it reduces the damage by 50%, same value, and raises the attack 15% for 15 seconds. Alright, now let's go to East Wind Dance. Now this is a 3 hit combo, 90-90-90, on a single enemy with the highest attack. Now I like whenever there is a ability like this that specifically targets people with the highest attack. Every hit further carries a 30% chance to inflict Dark, Seal, or Stun for, th stun for 3 seconds, but the rest for 5 each. Now this is really good because it's a uh, three three chances at 30% to inflict an additional status effect. And this you could even have it stacked on like somebody could be dark sealed and stunned in the same, you know, in the same breath. So and then if you awaken that, it's just 120% and just changes the values, not any of the bottom values. If it was the bottom values, that'd be very good. Anyway, uh, let's get back to her uh, last ability here. It, it is Snow White Spirit Fox. So each time damage is inflicted, shields damage. 30% of the skill user's attack of the first ally in line for 15 seconds. So not only, like, it's going to generate a shield for the tank. <coughs> for, yeah, so the first ally, ally in line. Unless your tank is dead, of course, then it's going to shield somebody else. But most case scenario, you're going to find that shield on your tank. So... I'm going to keep bringing up this unit because it's really good to pair with it, but Beatrix and Snow White Spirit Fox is very good because then, they're, then you're dealing with two shields, and they're both attackers. So that's just really good on its own. Now if you awaken it, <clears throat> it seems like there's a pretty good significant thing. So it further raises damage inflicted by 5% for 10 seconds if blue ooh, elemental. So that's 5% there, and then... It was this one. And then this is just the Eternal Dance regular, so it's 10 second or 10%. So you can get 15 or you can get 20% for blue elemental for like a just a short like a brief time. Alright. So let's go ahead and see what the awakening roadmap would be. So if we go here, her bell chime dance is the first thing that gets awakened, which is pretty good. The extra damage is great. And then it seems like for her A2, it's that East Wind Dance. Now, as much as I like East Wind Dance, it's just like a 30% increase on all damage values. Which makes it just 90% more damage. 
Ethernal Dance would probably be the better one since it raises the attack by uh, five more percent and for longer. And then it looks like Magic Gear Slot is at A4 and then A5, which is probably one of her, her one of the best ones she can have, just because it will further raise that damage for the blue elemental for 10 seconds, making it either 15 or 20 percent attack increase. So yeah, her Awakening Robat is not that bad. Obviously, they have the A5 ability as the best one there, Gear Slot 4, and then Eternal Dance at A3. So all of her good ones are pretty much near the end, uh, aside from like her A1, which is more damage, definitely better for an ult. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This unit in itself is very, very good for shielding and like kind of keeping your party just beefed up. Like I said before, if you pair this unit with Beatrix and having a, like a really good tank that's able to reduce the damage even further, that's going to be absolutely great. So let's go into the character list here, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So we'll scroll down and find Beatrix right there. Yeah, have this unit, definitely you're going to want that unit. But like I said before, this one's off the regular character banner, so or the regular character pool. So, what the the best thing to do is to not summon this unit yet. Do not do not pull it because it's gonna have a chance to be in the regular character pool. It's a good unit to go for, but you're gonna want to wait until after this timer expires, and then it'll be spit out into the regular summon. Now for this event that they're doing right now, while when they drop this character, there's the Seven Shadows missions, which is going to get you all these tickets. Now we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 tickets to go for. And if you include the gift box, it's gonna have an additional, or it should have an additional 10 in there. So that's a total of like 80 summons. And I already used the tickets for that one, so it's not in the gift box. So yeah, you have a total of 80, or going for 8 times 10 summons. And you're going to want to wait till this character is out of the banner. Once you wait for her out of the banner, you're going to be able to draw her on this regular summon. And that's the best thing you can really do. So... Yeah, all in all, this character is has really good potential, especially if you have Beatrix and you want to like be even without Beatrix, it's gonna be still beefing up your party, and she has some pretty good moves. Uh, I, I like that she has this ability to have a chance to inflict all these different, uh, all, all, like three different status effects. I also like the ceiling potential that she has on her ultimate, and both of her like. Other abilities are really good, especially this damage one. Like the shield's damage is going to be really good for the like just to buff up the tank. All in all, this unit is pretty good. It's buffing both the attack and the defense of your units, and not only that, it has a guaranteed seal with its ultimate, which is really good. And then it could do different status effects. I think this would be probably be a good unit for not only PvP, but like questing and probably events, so this is a very good unit to go for. But, as as I said before, just wait till she's out of the banner, Use all the, save those tickets, and use them to get a chance to get her in the regular character pool. Yeah, and that's about it. Vigo, signing off. Well, let's move on to her... Damn. <laughs>